My name is Ashlyn coons -Coyne. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy, and I was a fortunate recipient of the Pharma Foundation Faculty Starter Grant in Translational Medicine. I became interested in research very early on in my Doctor of Pharmacy training. I witnessed while in the hospital setting that a lot of the therapeutic regimens that were being selected were based off of expert opinion or other low levels of evidence. And so I use that as really my catalyst to, to conduct research that will help strengthen the selection of therapeutic regimens that improve patient outcomes. Additionally, I've worked in multiple different labs over the years, and I thoroughly enjoyed being in the lab, being hands-on. And so with my work at the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy, I'm able to put together this clinical research background with my laboratory background to really help strengthen our therapeutic regimens for patients. Our Pharma Foundation funded research project is in infectious diseases with a specific focus on the bacteria called Stenotrophomonas multophilia. Stenotrophomonas is spreading not only in the hospitals, but also in our communities. And unfortunately, some of our first line antimicrobials are resistant against Stenotrophomonas. And the bug also targets patients with weakened immune systems, such as patients with blood cancers. So our goal is to find antimicrobial therapies that will not only kill stenotrophomonas, but also will evaluate how stenotrophomonas reacts to exposure to the antibiotics to help improve therapies moving forward. We aim to enhance outcomes in patients that are at high risk for treatment failure, which includes patients with weakened immune systems. So ultimately, the research has the potential to decrease treatment failure, improve patient survival rates, and also prevent the spread of resistant bacterial infections. The Pharma Foundation research support is really a game changer for someone like myself. I'm a junior faculty member, tenure track, and the first few years as a junior faculty member are really pivotal to establish your research program. The Pharma Foundation research support will not only provide necessary funds for consumables in the lab, equipment, but also paying for lab personnel, which are really, really important for making sure that not only the work gets done, but for growing a, a lab team atmosphere. The advice that I have for other early career researchers is to just remove the word failure from your vocabulary whether it's not having a grant proposal funded, not having your manuscript accepted for publication, those are all parts of the process. I don't consider them failures. The failure would be not reflecting on the experience, not improving upon the process, uh, possibly pulling in some additional collaborators and just giving it another shot. So it's something that I, I like to share with mentees as no reason to use failure. You're not a failure. It's just part of the process and you just have to keep working at it and keep moving forward. Also, the other piece of advice is don't pick a career path that is the big thing currently or it's what you think you should do based on what other people are working on. You're going to be doing this work for 40 plus hours a week for the foreseeable future. So it's very important to make sure that you pick a topic that you'll be working on all these hours. That's a topic that you truly enjoy working with. What I really want to achieve in my career is to create a lab in a learning environment that excites all trainees that want to tackle this growing issue of antimicrobial resistance. I was a non-traditional doctorate student while I was going through pharmacy school and people don't often think about pharmacists being full-time benchtop researchers and so a goal of mine is to share the same opportunities with pharmacy students, medical students, graduate level students and postdocs because I was fortunate to have mentors around me that really facilitated my ability to do full-time research as a pharmacist. I want to make sure I have that opportunity available for, for anyone else that's interested.